Okay, so I'm currently downloading the new 64-bit Raspbian, which is on a beta at the moment. Uh, so if I go to uh, my latest video and I look at the comments, people have been mentioning it already. Uh, I hadn't been made aware of it. I was uh, recording a different video. There you go. Are you planning on doing a test on the just release 8 gig Raspberry Pi? Please do a video on the new Pi 4 8 gig. I hadn't realised there was going to be one, uh, and I thought it was a joke first of all. Um, but I see that there is this proper post, uh, and they talk about uh, various different things. Uh, talks about it being good for servers. I was trying to think of what what you would need 8 gig on a Pi for, but uh, obviously people will definitely find uses for it. Uh, and certainly all the Windows stuff I've been doing recently. If we can get RAM support, Windows really likes 8 gig of RAM. Uh, so $75. So I figured a better order one. Uh, let's have a look. Open link in new tab. Are they still in stock? By now. So I've had stuff from Pi Moroni before. So I think I'm going to go with Pi Moroni again. So 73.50. Is it going to be free shipping? in my cart. $2.99 shipping so I'm just going to continue because I figure these will probably sell out because it usually happens when new models come out. So $76.49 complete order. Yep so that's done so uh, let's close that down. So I have one on order so that should be coming very soon. Uh, so what do they say? This is a beta test of Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. We still recommend the 32-bit operating system for Pis at this time although I have decided it's now time to begin the move toward a 64-bit OS. People will love that. Uh, for the moment, this is a beta program. The OS is in heavy flux, and its functionality is likely to change significantly over the next few months. Note, the 64-bit OS is only installable on 3 and 4s. Uh, so, use the Pi Imager tool. be interesting to see if it's got the up-to-date uh, bootloader, so if I don't have to add the extra files to run it from an SSD. So, I think I'm going to put it straight on an SSD uh, and try that. There's no hardware video acceleration in VLC or Chromium. And there's a link to issues on GitHub. So anyway, let's flash it to an SSD. Okay, so that's all downloaded. So let's unzip it and then flash it to an SSD. So let's plug in my SSD. Now this is my Barry Boot um, SSD that I'm going to have to use for this because uh, I've run out. So ignore that message. And let's open up the Raspberry Pi Imager. Choose OS. Use custom ARM64 RASP, RASP iOS Buster ARM64. Choose, yeah, that's my 120 gig SSD and hit write. Error writing the file to disk. Nice, good start. So let's do a raise first and try that because it did have Berry Boot on there, so it might have been a bit different. So let's go custom image. Uh, the unzipped one, open, micron, right. No, <laughs> so it doesn't work. So it doesn't work to my SSD drive. So let's try Belena Etcher uh, and see if that works. My Mac, uh, I've, I've covered my Mac in, uh, it's a 10 year old Mac, um, so it is a bit slow, but also because I'm screen capturing, it makes it even slower. So if you're wondering why Belena Etcher takes an age to, to load up when it's screen capturing, it's uh, it's even slower. Right, so select image. That's the one. Open. Select target. Continue. And flash. Is, is unusually large. Yeah, that's all right. Well, it looks like Belena Etcher is trying to flash it. So I don't know why it's not working with the Raspberry Pi imager. Um, but I'm going to try this first of all uh, without doing anything else to it and trying to do it as USB boot. Um, to see if they've added all these extra uh, files that are needed to support USB boot. Uh, if it needs it, obviously I'll copy over the 14 files uh, in my USB boot video. Uh, but let's see what happens after this is flashed. And while it's doing that, I did get a comment um, from Tony DeSalvo uh, saying, I make an aluminium case all CNC machine that will let you overclock the hell out of the pie with passive cooling. If you want one, kick me an email. Uh, so I went to his website, 
and uh, I couldn't find an email link. So if you're watching this, uh, I would I would definitely like to try one. Uh, it looks amazing. And uh, so basically, it's uh, a machined aluminium case, but it, it doesn't use any active cooling. So if you have a look at this picture, you can see that these are proud and they're actually they would touch the GPU and the and the RAM and the and the CPU I think those three bits are uh, so that would in theory keep your Pi cool enough to uh, be able to overclock but also not need any active cooling so yeah definitely interested in that that looks very exciting it's not cheap but uh, it looks like a very premium product so 49.95 probably is cheap for a, a machined piece of aluminium anyway back to Belena Etcher, which has finished. So I'll cover Raspbian 64 in the next video. I'll get this one edited and uploaded, and I wanna play around with it before I make a video on it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.